And you talked about adapting right there. How quickly did you guys adapt to stuff like this, like Zoom? Because I feel like when we first started, it was kind of a burden to everybody that we had to do this. But as time went on, it's like, this is actually a plus and it's probably going to be used now moving forward, even when times do go back to semi-normalcy. Yeah, I think it, it, it took it took a little bit of time, but honestly, it happened pretty quick that, you know, um, the good news is um, the technology to do things like this exists. And it was just more a matter of us adjusting. And, um, you know, it, 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 it also allows you to get, um, you know, I use the example of, you know, Matthew McConaughey did our NFL Open a few weeks ago. And, um, you know, he just did it via Zoom and, um, he, you know, uh, two years ago, you would have had to require, uh, you know, camera crew and uh, potentially, you know, a satellite truck or fiber to get it back and, and you know, a, a, a big involved process to uh, have somebody do this. Now you can just do it on a Zoom. It's, it's uh, you know, you might add a secondary camera or two, but it, it's uh, the it's not the heavy lift that it used to be and and honestly I, I don't know that the viewer Matt cares that much that the quality isn't quite as good because it was shot you know uh, shot through zoom or Skype or, or something like that I, I think I think sometimes we do TV because uh, for ourselves and for TV people rather than uh, the viewer that I think a lot of times doesn't really know the difference so um, it, it'll it allows you to uh, you know, I'd also use the example with Michael Strahan do an interview with OBJ to get those two people together during football season. Michael doing, you know, Good Morning America during the week in New York. That would be, you know, extremely difficult, if not impossible. And now it's not impossible. So this gives us, I think, a lot more flexibility on things like that.